Hey guys, I'm Matt Porteous and I'm an environmental portrait and ocean photographer. My journey started out on the little island of Jersey in the UK and that's where I was brought up on the, on the beaches, I was brought up surfing and I just always took an interest in photography. I would capture my journey, the people I was with and the travels that I, that I took at an early age. Capturing people's stories and capturing people's journeys has always been a really big thing for me. I've always been interested in people and finding out more about them. And um, in 2015, I, I went to Hawaii and it was on the beaches of the North Shore of Oahu that I first set up and founded Ocean Culture Life, which is bringing together a community of ocean storytellers, photographers, filmmakers and ocean lovers and ocean guardians are people that are doing amazing things for this world. Uh, it was bringing them together on a platform that we could all start talking, sharing information, sharing images and helping these images um, inspire change around the world and around the ocean. Fondest memories uh, that have impacted my lifestyle today is just my time at the beach when I was a kid, from hanging out with my granddad body surfing to being left at the beach at a young age by my mum and growing up around a, a great surf community. I think the, that's had the biggest impact in me. And, and also traveling from a young age, you know, that um, really impacted my life, whether I was trekking in the, in the mountains with my stepdad or if I was going on surf trips with my friends. It, that led me on a, on a journey to want to keep exploring and keep meeting new people and telling new stories. I first picked up a camera when I was around eight years old. Um, I didn't pick up a underwater housing and a camera until I was around 19. That was an old film camera put inside a housing, took that traveling with me when I was, um, you know, I was around 19 or 20. The path I led after leading school, um, I didn't get on too well at school. I left, I left school at 15. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in life. So I became a builder, I was, became a stonemason. Um, straight out of school, I think I took, I had a week off and I went straight into the building industry. And that's where I spent the next 10 years working as a builder. I set up my own building company. Uh, but I was never happy. I was never happy in that job. I knew that it was something I was missing and photography had been a passion forever. So it wasn't actually until I was 29 that I launched my, um, my commercial photography business. Uh, the thing I value most in life is just the, the freedom that we're given. The freedom that is there for us all to take. The, the possibilities that we have um, in this world to explore the world, meet new people, go to new places. Uh, I value my friends, I value my family, I value the friendships that I build along the way. We, I just, I just enjoy life. I love, I love exploring and telling new stories. The thing I'd most like to change in the world and the environment today is just to get people to think outside the box and to know that by making the smallest change can make the biggest difference. Uh, I want people to realize how lucky we are to have this one, this one shot at life and to make the most of it and to, to be nice to others and to look after our environment, to look after nature. You know, I think this is a, an obvious one, but it always comes down to Attenborough, watching him from a young age and seeing the work that he did. has really, really inspired me of the power of storytelling, um, especially some of his more recent documentaries that, that have um, been produced, uh, the behind the scenes and, and seeing the storytelling has moved from just how beautiful our planet is to the issues that are happening in our planet. So they're the biggest thing, you know, that's one of the, the biggest inspirations in my life has, has been Attenborough's documentaries. What brings me joy in life? Just everything. Being in nature, surrounding myself with nature, being surrounded by great people, meeting new people, meeting new friends. It's, it all comes back to this for me. I think it is just being on a continuous journey and moving forward, uh, that brings me joy. Um, and yeah, just people, people in nature and, and our environment, it all brings me joy. I hope that in some way my work can um, inspire others to follow their dream. Um, I hope that my work can make some kind of difference to help tell a story that can, that can change somebody's life. If you want to do anything in this world you need to go out and do it on your own you will see these beautiful images of amazing creatures and amazing places in the world uh, if you want to get those amazing images all you need to do is book a flight and go there uh, don't wait for anybody else 
because no one else is gonna let you do it. You need to do it on your own. It needs to be a self-motivation. You need to self-motivate yourself to get up, get out there and do it. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Just, and then just give it 100% and never give up.